What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video here on Vivo Garage. In today's video, we've got a few things we're gonna get accomplished. One, we're gonna get the engine dropped into the STXR. Two, we're gonna get it all hooked up. And three, we're gonna get it fired up and running. So I'm looking forward to getting this done. We are approaching our deadline of getting this thing in the water by the end of May. At the time of this recording, it is May 22nd. Um, I'll get this video, hopefully it'll be on May 23rd, but you know, who knows how, how things go. Man, God, this camera. Um, but yeah, super excited and yeah, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. So in today's video, we're going to do things a little differently than we've done before. As I was doing all my filming and everything with the assembly, I forgot to do, well, a lot of the filming of the assembly so I'm just going to have some uh, slideshow of different things on the assembly and then we'll cut into getting the rest of it that I got done so uh, please bear with me Well, I've been, I got the engine in, as you can see. I didn't film it. Um, I just got, I guess, a little too excited and didn't have the camera set up, but essentially I just hoisted it in um, and lowered it down with some, with some rope, kind of similar to how we pulled it out on that. But um, I'm getting everything kind of hooked up. Um, I got to find some hose clamps for these. I'm going to get new spark plugs. So I haven't hooked that up. You can see the PTO is there, the engine's bolted down, I've got fuel lines to hook up and all that. So I'm just gonna continue on. Um, I misplaced these bolts for that. I just kinda noticed that. So I'm gonna go and find those and keep plugging away. So um, yeah, I'll update you guys here after a little while. Okay, well, I mean, probably doesn't look like I've gotten a whole bunch more done, but um, I got this better. This was kind of loose before, so I didn't know how watertight that was going to be. And then, of course, it's got this on-off valve, so it's off now. It's on here. Um, that'll be handy. Make sure that that is in the off position when we're running and it's not hooked up to the hose. Um, I've got all the harnesses all connected up fuel lines are good i gotta cinch these down um got all the linkage all hooked up so here is the choke as you can see the choke now works uh the throttle is hooked up as well as the feeder for the oil injection um i got the oil tank in i gotta get that uh, connected down I put this in here I gotta get some new screws those are rusty they look awful but you know got all that in the hose is there so the first initial start or run break-in period I need to run some pre-mix 50 to 1 in the tank so I'm gonna get that mixed up get that in the tank kind of get this thing primed and ready to go I got the battery charged up that's got to get dropped in and I got the uh, negative cable hooked up the water inlet on the back side here that was a pain I forgot to get that hooked up but that is now hooked in and tightened down so yeah we are ready to go I'm gonna go shuffle some vehicles around and get this thing outside and then hook this up on the tripod and just kind of record how it goes but we're we're ready to fire well here we are i'm all ready to get it fired up i powered the gauge on which i've never done before but has 152 hours on it and yeah we're gonna 
We're gonna give it. Uh, we're gonna give it a go. I've got a makeshift the uh, kill switch on it to, to see, but yeah, we'll just see how we're going. Well, as you can see, it's starting on starter fluid, but I'm not getting any fuel coming, so I'm going to have to feed the, uh, the fuel line. The fuel filter doesn't even have fuel. She's running. So I found out what it was. My fuel selector right there was off. That got me on the yellow sea dew all the time. You can see it's running real nice. I'm just gonna let it idle, let it break in a little bit. Uh, but I'll cut the video here, but woohoo! Well, there it is. It is running. I did some more fine tuning. I ran it for quite a bit um, off camera. And one thing I found is putting it back together, the oil pump, the pulley is really hard to see, but you can kind of see the top of it where that thing is there. There's some adjustments that need to be done for that because when I was running it, I noticed that there was a ton of oil just coming out the exhaust and it was getting worse. So I was a little concerned. Well, maybe I did something wrong, but it was just a simple adjustment. So um, in the service manual, there's a spec. This might be easier to see down here. Um, 
you can see the cable coming down here and it goes into that but there's a spec that when you have it wide open throttle you need to have some clearance between the stop pin and uh, that so i got all that adjusted i also got the throttle adjusted as well and we're idling what we should be out of the water so once we get it in the water we'll see about that on how that is so i'm going to wrap this video up here and we'll continue on with the build with the next video but uh we'll talk now well, yeah i'll just wrap this video up right here so yeah like i said wrapping this video up here um god that thing looks so good i i don't know i'm beside myself by it but hopefully you guys like it too comment below if you do uh but yeah so in the next video we are going to get this thing ready for the water so i've got to do a couple things one um get it all buttoned up two get the registration done get the the license numbers put on it and then um i've got a couple other things which i'll reveal in the next video but in that one we will have it in the water so just kind of really waiting on weather here in the pacific northwest uh, summer doesn't really go as you can see it's a gray cloudy day today although it's not necessarily cold but it would be kind of cold on the water anyway hoping that next weekend memorial day weekend will be a better weather if not maybe throughout the week who knows or i may have to go somewhere else but i want to get this thing in the water this month so yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate every view i get on this if this uh, jet ski or the goat ski have any interest to you consider subscribing please do so give this thumb a like button if you liked it and until next time we'll catch you on the next one bye